Hello Aries, welcome to your mid-October to November read for this current year. Alright, so check this shit out, right? I got sent an oracle deck, and it is the black mirror oracle deck, and it's dark, and I like it. It's actually my style. Um, it talks about shit that's underneath of the surface, the shadow side of things, so I really like this, so I'm going to start using this in my readings and stuff. It's going to start being the vibration, and I'm not going to clarify the vibration anymore, because that's what these cards are going to technically be for. So, Aries, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, because it's just a card game, right? Right. If you want a personal read after this, all the info is in the description box below after the music listing. First comers, your readings on the house. Enjoy. Alright, Aries, your oracle card. Is this me? Alright, let's see what this little booklet says. This is like... How the hell is this like? Okay, what? Hold on, I need to look at something. Okay, this thing's confusing because it says that like blackness is like the black circle is like a full moon, but the white circle is a new moon. That's confusing, but whatever. It's a mirror. I guess it makes sense. Okay, this is a stage of acceptance. I cannot recognize myself, but I'm still me. The visual seed, a dark fantasy female with pale skin is enshrouded by the scanty spiked bikini armor. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what that is, man. She holds a fanged, bat-hilted sword against a background of fire and ruin. Her sentence is, I cannot recognize myself. As I can't remember the road that led me here, how can I see the road ahead? When you're going dark, this card is not about, is not about an affirmation, but rather a question. Is this me? Can I recognize myself? Maybe yes, maybe no. But for sure, I lost the road I had once. The last time I stopped to really think about it, in my heart I feel maybe like the high school girl that went to prom. But truly, I am now 45 and I weigh thrice. I feel my true self as the kid that wanted to play soccer with the real Madrid. All this while punching numbers on an Excel file, out in the insurance office. It's not necessarily something negative as a dream lost or corrupted. I could see myself as love. It's the most important thing in my life. But actually, I have a very well-paid job that makes me travel, and I sleep alone in hotel rooms. When did we last look at ourselves in the mirror? Do we like what we are? Make no excuses, because the choices which made what we are, are our responsibilities. If an old dream is dead, it's time to dream anew. If the old dream is alive, it's time to go back to it. Alright, that's the uh, theme for this reading, Aries, for you. That's interesting, I like this. So that's what we got for you right now. Alright, so let's lay out your card. I hope the music isn't too loud. I really can't tell. Alright, let's see. We got for you the Knight of Pentacles along with the Three of Swords reverse. Someone wants to make a delivery, but they got a hell of a heartbreak going on right here. Their thoughts and feelings deal with the Two of Cups, right? And it is reversed, so there might have been a separation somewhere. And the root of this is a missed opportunity that was kind of missed on purpose, and now someone realizes they really didn't want to miss it at all. Um, in fact, it was kind of like, it's almost like a Missed opportunities, kind of like the is this me kind of thing, you know? This is almost like kind of like a fantasy too, like someone had dreams of being like this warrior princess lady. In a fashion, what, a, what an interesting 
concept with this card. Okay. What's coming up next? Might be the Wheel of Fortune reverse for some of you. Either you or your cross watcher. Also, cross watcher, switch where necessary. You know, all that jazz. We got the Page of Pentacles, Cap, Taurus, Virgo. Someone trying to work diligently. Maybe they don't know everything. Maybe they're even trying to be nice with this situation and the thoughts and feelings about the breakup, right? And then we got the Two of Pentacles right here. Options. Um, either let this heartbreak or whatever this is that's been driving you crazy, drive you crazy, or maybe possibly figure out how to deal with this situation over here as best you can. Right? Right. I'm going to turn that down a little bit real quick because I feel like that's just a tad loud. so bad now. Okay, so let us continue, y'all. I really like this deck so far. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like keep using this deck. I mean, the imagery is just, mm, crazy. All right. With this Knight of Pentacle who's trying to deliver something of significance, we got the Three of Swords, Shadow Side Upright. Someone looks over this still, once again, like, you know, nah, it, it, okay, so maybe it's not entirely the heartbreaking situation where it's like a trap, where it's like, um, it's something that eats away with you with this version, because that's how I always feel like it, you know, pile driver to the heart, something that's so heavy that, like, it just drags you, and then you start ripping your shit, because, like, it's a long walk to, like, the Dairy Queen, and... The buses don't run on Sunday. You don't have the proper change to begin with. You know, and the last bus driver just took your change and ran off. All your friends won't answer the phone. You just, like, that lonely feeling. And I almost feel like it here with this knight trying to deliver something. Could be an earth sign you're dealing with, Aries. Another three. That's three trees so far. Okay. So, like, you want to deliver something? But, like, there's... <sighs> Something slow but steady is trying to develop. Possibly roll back to the past. Where there might be... Some heartbreak and waiting for nothing. Because someone might have thrown justice out the window. Alright? With this Three of Swords reverse, the pile driver to the heart, um, it felt like you might have been keeping yourself in a cage and you didn't realize it. Might have even kept some secrets or trying, or maybe you're trying to use your intuition to find a way out of this. And this could be you, Aries, either that or a Libra or a Taurus, that Venetian energy, you know. Fanny Mae's up here. She says hi. Ha! Ah. You know. Let's see. What's up with this Knight of Pentacles? What is he delivering? Like he's heartbroken. He feels like he's waiting for nothing. He's thrown fairness behind his back. Like, if, well, not even fairness. It's justice. There's a difference. Um, fairness doesn't have to be just. Justice doesn't have to be fair. You know. Uh, do my flop his emotions about he might not know how to keep a fish in a cup for some reason he was just swilling it around and now it's all in the dirt it's gonna go in the ocean just be like oh fuck you know Ooh, actually he might spill the bean that fish might be the spilling the beans of um a third party situation which leads to the breakup which i think is the problem in itself we already have that with the three of swords um showing up twice but now it's like someone done goofed about it and, like, spilled the beans more on the situation, too. Like, if you didn't already know that something was going on, Aries, or Crosswatcher, well, you might just find the fuck out now. <laughs> Alright, 
down the below the three of swords reversed. Yeah, there was a lot of unfairness going on. Like they were expecting the poor to pay their way almost. Somebody was someone was expecting somebody older to do shit in order to um, propel the wheel of fortune forward. Um, getting a third party, that fucking monkey. Now there's a party. Now there's another fucking three, actually. And with the Empress, that's another three, too. There's a lot of threes going around, y'all. There's definitely some third party in this, man. And I feel like that's got the effects of you feeling like, you know, there might have been something you invested with with your life that you're now questioning when it comes to your relationships and such, you know? Like, is this me? Is this what I'm made of, I guess? I'll tell you one thing, Aries. It seems like there's a transformation with your zodiac sign. Like, you're no longer this, like, ram that's always just running into shit, whatever agitates it, just doing whatever without thinking. You're becoming more of a lone, um, intelligent wolf, if you will. Um, a very cunning person. I'm very much a loner. In itself, it's like your zodiac's transforming a little bit, I've noticed. Let's see. This two of cups and the thoughts and feelings. It's reversed. And someone manifested that shit to be reversed. Or someone called upon fate to cause it to be reversed. With the magician right here. Um, mainly because they were very selfish. Someone, like, okay, Aries, you were your cross watcher feels as though this relationship was separated because someone decided to take control of fate much like what happened here because they were selfish it's almost the exact same thing spelled out you might have turned your back as the empress to what this person was doing because they wanted to do that so bad and it that may possibly what's got you questioning is this me which you know yeah they got comfortable being left out in the cold or they wanted you to get comfortable being left out in the cold. One of the two, Aries. Let's see. The root of this is a missed opportunity they missed all on their own. It's like they caused themselves to miss it, and now they, like, regret missing it. Which is like, okay. That's kind of backwards, but, you know, it's whatever, man. Yeah, it happens. Um, they kind of rushed into battle for fighting and such, right? Um, just so they can be... Wait. Alright, if, if they were this knight, or this dude on the ground, they rushed into the battle and they got their ass beat. Right? But I don't think so. I think they're the one who went in just to defeat this dude right here. I don't think he and the guy on the horse are the same. They're not even, like, the same color. Like, this dude would be a closer color, so I'm not entirely sure. These are both swords, so it really don't matter could have been an air sign who's doing this kind of attacking just to put somebody on the ground yeah areas in crosswatcher i feel like whoever came in to battle you did so on the purpose to make you feel weak and make you feel like you should come back despite the fact there is a whole entire ocean of other places to fucking go, you know, like, I, you know, that's, and like, I understand, you know, like, there's a lot of fish in the sea, but there's also a lot of trash, there's a lot of trash in the sea, and I feel like this person wants to convince you that there's nothing but trash in the sea, by making, by coming in and just doing horrible stuff, it's like, their actions down here to try to convince you to stick around despite the fact that there might be an opening for you, causing you to wonder if this is me um it's possibly spurned you to realize that they're causing this shit to happen and they kind of want you to feel comfortable feeling like this like possibly feeling miserable feeling alone they're kind of a dick i'll have to say all right so back to the thoughts and feelings you know Yeah, Aries, this person is kind of fucked up, and I'm, I'm kind of glad that you're asking about, like, whether or not this is a life that you're wanting to stay with, or if there's something out there different for you, I feel like. 
Yeah, it's like even if you get back with this person, they're not going to know how to be gentle with you. Like you recognize this in your thoughts and feelings, Aries and Cross Watcher. You recognize that um, there might be love here, but they're fucking nuts. They'll kill a butterfly just to like cause you to bleed on the on the side of a cheek with a with a fucking uh, Nelly bandage on your face. You know the roots of these thoughts and feelings. This stuff is not. None of this is gonna work. It, it does not. They didn't build it well enough for it to work on you. And you get frustrated enough to be like, you know what? No, I'm leaving. You go ahead and walk. I'm gonna go do my own thing. Don't fucking find me, cause you won't. You know. I feel like you. You kind of have to tell them that. You know, it, like whatever it is they try to do or come in to do to mess with you, you realize that this isn't the life for you. I feel like Aries. I think you realize that um. Feeling like someone's slave is some bullshit, and you are not a slave. You're the fucking emperor and the empress, and you will be addressed as such, damn it. You know? And I totally agree. Alright, so this Wheel of Fortune is reversed, even though it's down here, right? Actually, the Wheel of Fortune showed up three times. I don't... What the fuck is it with threes? There's something about threes, but I can't remember what the fuck they are. It's like completion or a cycle or something like that, right? Oh my god, three of cups. Someone's still got some Bettys. Or someone's got some Bettys. Someone's trying to celebrate with Bettys. Someone's thinking about picking Bettys. And mind you, three of cups is over here where someone's decided to choose the black Betty. Ma'am Lamb. Always choose black Betty, right? But when they come over, they like drop their fucking fish and reveal the third party here. The wheel gets stopped once they try to do some shit, right? You know. They ain't delivering nothing of value. In fact, like, I think that, like, dude fell asleep on his horse. You know. Hmm. And you... Okay, it's like they emotionally pick you, but they really don't deliver anything to you that's valuable. But then they sit on their porch wondering where the fuck you're at. It was just like, oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, that's cool. I got you. I got you. That's, that works, I guess. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Someone's trying... Ooh, all three at once? I like that. Thank you very kindly. Um... Okay, so let's see. This uh, Page of Pentacles, they are, like, the Page of Pentacles is young. It's it, it's also a novice. It's also talking about how you particularly deal with people in order to really mosey on up to them and all that shit, right? It also deals with, like, how you uh, approach things that you're not entirely skilled with and using whatever skills you are um, good with to try and enable or help you um, figure out how to use this wrench to turn a shoe into a fucking pentacle. You have no idea how he made that pentacle in this picture. He, all he's got is a wrench and maybe a red and black shoe, but he did it, and he did it as best he could. That's, it's a, it's a literally apprenticeship starting out, right? Um, might have to be logical in what you cut out because, you know, queen of swords, right? Because you already know that this person might... um. Try to coax you to come back, even after they did some bullshit. You know, they walked away first, so you're just like, well, all right, well, I guess we're matching energy just today, motherfucker. I don't mind being petty. You know, you have to be pretty diligent. However, yeah, you're cutting out this resurrection, and that'll probably piss them off. Or, Aries and Crosswatcher, you're telling them, the, like, get on, get. Just go. Just get on. Like, no one likes you anyway. <laughs> Like you, are, like, you are willing to take this person down with you if you have to. <clears throat> Alright. Two of Pentacles. There are options here. You are possibly looking over here, Aries and Crosswatcher, realizing stuff as time has moved forward, how this person has manipulated things, how they've caused you to feel a certain way, behave certain ways, I feel like. And then, using this other option of the Pentacle, the one she's holding up high, to examine how this shit's gonna go out because you're still trying to figure out how you're gonna handle this crazy dude. You know, like, this was a beginning of a journey that was, like, way, 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 too heavy for you to carry to begin with. 
Um, possibly for a water sign. Cancer Prize is Scorpio? Uh, you might have kept your emotions closed off. Like, you, she, the bitch always looks annoyed to me. Like, she always has this annoyed look on her face every time I see her. Like, she's bored or some shit. Like, uh, I guess I want to rule today. I, I'd rather just go on Instagram. Kira has new leggings, you know? Like, like I don't know. It's like she's too prissy and proper to be worried about this shit, right? Mm. You know? Um... This person might have pretended that ever that she was asleep while everything was burning down. You know. Just being like, oh, I was napping. Like, you were posted on Instagram at, like, 2.30. So, uh, what does that got to do with anything? The fire started at 2.15. Well, see, now you're just making the sound. You know, like, they do one of those things in order to avoid any more responsibility. Uh, they're kind of standing at a distance while a phoenix is burning. And it might take them a bit to, like, really come out of the dark with the Hermit Shadow Side. Reverse. One more. Let's see. Ah! Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. What card is this again? Two Pentacles? Your options? This is like, you, you want, like, look, your options could be this. You could either uh, uh, be diligent about how you want to handle this shit up here, or you can carry a burden that's way too heavy for you with a person who looks bored and, and just wants to do whatever and refuses to see that maybe, 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 they, maybe they should stop, like, fucking the moon cells up, you know. They might have a complex about what they can't control, and they might also have a habit of turning certain people against one another's in harsh, harsh manners. Right? I don't know about this person, Aries. You know, they kind of have a problem with letting shit go, I feel like, you know? I feel like that's an issue. Alright, let's see. Up the top! Up the top! Okay. Mmm. Yeah. Um, if you... I feel like if you try to talk to this person, Aries and Cross Watchers... It's just going to lead to some irritations. Like, they're not listening to you. They're too busy, like, pouring out bad seeds and causing bad things to grow up. Then they all, like, it's like they're bathing in their own bullshit. Mm. Yeah, and, and it's probably going to end up with you having to uh, grab their sword when they try to strike you. And you're, you're probably going to have to, like, overthrow them on their own game. Because remember, they're coming as the Knight of Swords right here. And their lack of communicating with you is what's going to enable you to pull them off their horse. And, like, either tell them they're fucking prisoners of war or just go ahead and murder them. But not really. Don't actually murder people. For the love of God, don't. That's illegal. Like, you'll go to jail. I don't want to be responsible for that. Plus... A lot of people do it in really messy, messy ways. Like, think of the person who has to clean that shit up. Think of the spirit that has to live in that house, too. And not able to escape. Alright. Down below. Let's see. Yeah. It might be a bait and switch in this. Someone might be trying to infest or infect. Maybe even STD. Just bugs in general. If there's one, there's many. And I feel like... It, whatever it could possibly be given or taken, whatever this pentacle could be, whatever it would be, there'd be a bait and switch and someone would end up with a bug that never got off of them. Stings a hand, you know. Leaves a nasty venom in there. You gotta find, like, the anti-venom and it's in a whole other town. That sucks, too. Let's see. Yeah, there's no dealing. There's no dealing with this person. They're they're waiting and switching you. If you're trying to get back with this person, Aries and Cross Watcher, don't, don't. For the love of God, don't, please, because it's like you're asking, "Is this me?" You're carrying like this whole like. If you try to delegate with this person. 
you will realize very quickly what they're trying to offer you is bullshit. And then you guys just aren't going to be seeing eye to eye and someone's going to drive the other away. I'm kind of hoping you'll drive that person away, but I'm feeling like it's the other way around, Aries and Crosswatcher. I feel like they're going to keep coming and playing mind games with you because they know you keep coming back to the beach. You know, when they know you keep coming back, that's why they keep playing. All right. Last ones. Here's the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. He's in this pentacle to give some lovings to his buffalo bison bill friend right here. I love that this one and the other deck both have like buffaloes or whatever they are for the game of pentacles. That just that tickles my pickle, man. You have no idea. I'm happy about that. Mm. You might have to have a mediator, Aries. I'm gonna get one more. Ah! Yeah, Aries, you might have to actually, um... Talk to somebody. Or deal with somebody who understands that, like, um... The pentacles are used to comfort those you love. They're not just the most successful things ever. Like, fuck, this dude loves his buffalo. Look at him. He's just fawning over it like, that's my baby. That's my boo. Bill, don't you ever fucking die on me, man. You know, like, look at it. He loves that fucking cow. Man, he loves it. Um, I feel like this dude is able to, like, help with discussions. Like, he's just like, well, look, I'm the one with the helmet, so we're all just gonna sit here and listen to each other. And if y'all start, I'm giving y'all concussions. So we're gonna sit here and talk about this like adults. And nobody's sticking around to help anybody else with their bullshit, either. It's like he comes in to help with whatever it is, parlaying, discussions, debates, arguments, trying to get everybody on the same page that, like, you know, somebody should not be carrying another person's um, burdens for him. Because, you know, I feel like that lesson might be um, getting hit twice, Aries and Cross Watchers. This is like a tower moment that's already replayed itself a little bit. Like, the people are already dead. They already fell, and they're dead. And now the lightning's just like, no, 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 no. We're not, we're not playing this fantasy shit. You know. I feel like, even if you did get the tower once, um, Ares and Cross Watcher, I feel like this dude plays a role in causing the tower to strike again. It's like, after he sits there and discusses stuff with you with after an argument or some shit, he helps you realize you don't want to put your swords in this scenario anymore. And that was the second hit of the tower. So, that's what I got for you, Aries and Crosswatchers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it, but that's up to you, of course. And once again, if you want a personal, all the info is down below. Newbies, first ones on the house. Everything else comes with a price, and, you know, I accept tips and donations. You guys have a good day. I love your faces. Bye-bye.